Hey everybody, all right, my name is Soleil. Today we're talking about the fragrance brand called Gritti. Gritti? I'm probably saying it completely messed up, it's from Italy. I do not know how I came across them. I know that I originally came across them when I was looking at Tom Ford's Lost Cherry and looking at other fragrances that were similar and Gritti came up with a um, product called Duchessa, which I have and I absolutely love. And, um, and I'm gonna talk about it today. Before I get into that though, I do have this. This is going to be an actual opening. I haven't tried it yet. I have a sample of the two, two Blanc. I wanna compare these two. So I'm really looking forward to that. But before I get into that, just to show you what I already have, I have from this house, I have these three. I absolutely, like for me, Gritty is one of those brands that either like, I really like it or not so much. Um, some of their products tend to smell a little household cleanerish to me sometimes, and some of them, they're really amazing. Um, none so far have, except for Duchessa. Duchessa was pretty much love at first sniff. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this again, it's been a minute. But a lot of them, when I smell them, I'm kind of like, it takes me a minute to get into it. Like, I know I like it, and at the same time, I, it's not that I dislike it, I'm just kind of like, getting used to it and then I start to appreciate it more. Um, I love these bottles. There's a YouTuber I follow named um, Gabby Loves Perfume and she doesn't like the bottles and I'm just like, what are you talking about, they're so cute. But um, in every single line they have, the bottle is the same as far as like the shape, but like some of them are clear, some of them are white, like marble. This is velvet with a gold top, so chic. Anywho. All right, so let me go ahead and spray this, which is the Duchessa. This is like, like I said, like one of the Tom Ford, I don't wanna say dupe, we're gonna say inspired because Tom Ford came, <sighs> smells delicious. Uh, yeah, Tom Ford came out and then, I don't know if this came out before or after, but ever since Tom Ford came out, anything that is nearing in that direction, everyone refers to it as a dupe um, or something that's been inspired by because Tom Ford Lost Cherry is just such a well-known, uh, raved about fragrance within the fragrance community. So let me go ahead and go to Fragrantica. I mentioned them before, I'm gonna leave a link down below. Absolutely fucking love them. I always say this, YouTube is great when you're wanting to get, you know, understanding of a product, you're hearing people's reviews. Sometimes though with YouTube, especially when the person climbs up the ladder, they, their opinions become more biased because they start getting free products, they start getting paid. Um, so you have to really pick and choose who you're, you're actually vibing with with their opinions. Fragrantica, on the other hand, it's just a whole entire slew of different people leaving honest opinions, people who have purchased the products and are just being straight up honest about it. So if you want like a raw opinion, Fragrantica is the spot to go to. So Duchessa, you know, they have, their whole entire thing is that they have sour cherry, saffron, which is I think what makes them kind of stand out. Uh, they have orange, peach, and um, again, I don't wanna to go too much into the the ingredients with this, but oh, it smells so good. It is similar to Tom Ford, but it's not Tom Ford. Like if I'm correct, Tom Ford has wood in it. This does not have any wood in it. Hmm. But when I bought this, this was a blind buy, and because um, I saw people raving about it, and I was really curious. This is not a cheap blind buy either. These things go for between like 245 to 300 and something, so they're definitely not cheap. Um, it was a good blind buy though. This is more of like a, a fall winter scent to me. This is, this is heavier. If I was gonna wear this now, it would definitely be in the evening. Like I think it would be a little too heavy for the weather. I'm in Maryland. Maryland's not completely warm yet, but it's warming up. It's definitely hits the, that spring vibe, so I wouldn't be wearing this. Um, but I definitely will be wearing this during the um, the colder months. Okay, so the next one, which has also got the same velvet look, same line, I guess, is Rialto. Rialto, which I have up, is their... Now, they say it's oud and woody. It's earthy, tropical. I left a review after I smelled this. Yes, you can smell the oud, but the mango, if you've ever smelled mango kiss, mango skin, my bad. Mango kiss is uh, a different one. 
but mango skin it is the very opening is very sour very like they say like fresh photo realistic paint mango it, it gives me that vibe from like the front but not as strong as mango skin oh, it smells so good this has oud in it normally i don't really care for oud which kind of brings it down like calms it down it's also got saffron in it and bergamot the oud is in the base but i feel like normally i really some oud fragrances i'm just i'm not like it's too much it's too heavy but with this i feel like the oud like balances it out and just leaves a very nice mm. <laughs> um just a balance to that mango because mango and bergamot are very like kind of like sour like you know tart and the base notes definitely balance that out so i think the gritty did a really good job with the rialto yeah so if you're in a mango and you know this is also kind of a, a colder weather type thing but i'm trying to think like i would wear this okay so i would definitely wear rialto in the spring and summer i would just pair it with a brighter like sweet summery like mango body cream yeah I think it would definitely go very well. Yeah, these are also pretty strong. Um, you don't have to spray a lot. I wore Gossip Night uh, today, and I it was the first time I wore it ever. And I was just like, shh, 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 you know, doing my thing. And afterwards, I was like, oh man, it's like in my nose. It's like in my. It's become one with my nose hair. It's like all right. It's like this is potent, which again. You know, it's expensive, but it's worth the price. You know, it's good. It's good. She's good. Anyhow, let me see. Gossip Night, I have this up. I think she's got like a, you know, my whole entire thing today was like smelling kind of peachy. Like I wore, I've been doing these um, short videos. So if you get a chance, you can check out my shorts and I will try to do like, I don't want to say scent of the day, but I'll show you guys what I do for pairing scents for that day. So today I did a Bath and Body Works uh, body cream and body spray along with the Victoria's Secret peach body lotion and then I topped it with this. So this has lychee, mango blossom, heliotrope at the top. It's got white peach, caramel whipped cream. Uh, bottom is white musk, cashmere, and uh, Madagascar, Madagascar vanilla. She be good. She is good. She's dense. So again, this is one of those scents where during the, it's, oh, that smells so good. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you guys, Told you guys in a few videos ago, people say you hit a certain age, you're having a midlife crisis. Bitch, I am having a midlife awakening. Like, sense just wake my soul up. It's like when you eat something, and like for me, like if it like, tastes really good, I'll do like a little like food dance because it tastes so good. That's how I feel. I mean, it's all in the same zone, you know, between like taste and like smell, but it's like I'm just experiencing a whole new moment of happiness. So, anyhow, back to this. Yeah, so I had a whole entire like peach thing going on with my body creams and whatnot, and, like tropical, and then I topped it with this. And uh, like I said, I, I I want a little little cray cray because it wasn't it was the first time I wore this, so I'm like, you know. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh, I mean I like it, but wow, like that's all I smell right now. It's like I I overdid it, and I was like, ah oh, crap. I hope I'm not like overwhelming to anybody. Um, I want to get my lashes done today, and my lash tech is. We don't each her for a few years. I think she's in her early she's in her early twenties. So one of the things is I don't want to be that person who like the person you know, feels that you're like too strong, like you all of a sudden hit a certain age and all of a sudden you're like overdoing it, you know? Some people enjoy smelling so strong that you like leave a scent trail like an hour later. That's not me. I do want you to smell me, but I'd rather you smell me within like conversation length. Like I don't need you to you know, because if you don't like how I smell, then that's what you're going to remember if it's that strong, you know. And since she was doing my lashes, I was like, oh, man, I really hope it's not, like, in her face. She didn't say anything, though, but... Oh, it smells so good. Crap. I love it so much. Huh? If you get a chance, Gossip Night. Um, it is hip and happening right now. I've seen it pop up. I bought this a few months ago during the winter season. And uh, now I'm seeing people talk about it. There was that... Uh, I want to go to it so bad, too. That fragrance convention in Milan. Um, X, S, I don't know what it's called. Anyways, um, Greta, 
I think her name is Greta Beth and Gabby Loves Perfume are the two people, one of the, two of the people that I follow and a few other people that were there that showed videos of them being at that convention and showing all the different fragrances and they had the area where they show greedy and they're showing this as if it was like brand new or something i'm like no i've had it for a minute so this is probably going to pop off here in the near future once they start talking about it but anywho all right let me go ahead and get on to the moment i've been waiting for i've been literally sitting on this since i ordered it or got in the mail because i wanted to do a video of, of you know i won't say an opening but uh, smelling it. I also wanted to leave in the box. I wanted to show you guys the greedy box. Some luxury brands, niche brands, their boxes are like meh, but some of them, I mean, they go above and beyond. The most beyond one that I have come across is the from the Shooting Stars line from Xeroff. I did a little short on that. I think I put it on TikTok and Instagram. Um, actually, I have it right here. I have not the box, but I have what came in the box. You literally, you probably can't even see it. You get pieces of meteorite and a little note that talks about it, when it was picked up, where it was picked up from in Siberia. You get this like little gold plate inside the box that tells you like the number of the batch of, per I mean, it's insane. Like you're getting your money's worth, you know, just the box itself. Anyways, they also have kind of a lux luxury vibe going on. I have seen quite a few Luxury niche brands will have the little drawer, which I'm like living for. This is the kind of stuff like you want to like keep, but then you don't at the same time. Cause like, you know, it's kind of hoarderish to keep a box you're never going to use, but it's just so fancy. You're like, oh my goodness, I feel like I should do something with this. Anyway, so this is the presentation. <sighs> is that not the cutest? It's like, la. Ariel comes out, starts like singing to you. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. I love it. I forget her name. I forget her name. I've been following so many different fragrance uh, channels recently, but the woman said that it, when she smelled it, it felt very ballerina-ish. I don't know what that means. So I am going to, this is what it looks like. Like I said, I don't have the Tutu Blanc version, but it's literally, it literally looks like this, the white version. They both have the same marble top and the same thing. Um, but it says Tutu Blanc and it just says Tutu. Um, let me go ahead and grab, let me see. I was looking at the difference in both of them. Tutu Blanc, it says it starts off as a fruity powdery vanilla. Tutu just comes off the vanilla fruity sweet. So I am definitely gonna be curious what the difference is. So let me go ahead and spray this first. Mm -mm. By the way, if you're into fragrances, you can get these test strips off of Amazon. All right. Who can smell that? Oh, it smells so good. Whew. Oh, so springy, so springy. I'm gonna go ahead and spray the Tutu Blanc. I'm going to spray this, which is interesting because this is a pink bottle. And um, if I'm correct, Blanc means Blanc, means uh, white. So it would be Tutu White, which would be in the white bottle. Makes sense, anyhow. So my sample, if you order straight from the Greedy site, you can pick two samples of their fragrances. If you um, order from Lucky Scent, you can probably get some more Greedy samples, but they're not gonna come in this size. They're gonna come in like itty bitty little bottles, like one milliliters. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna let that sit over here and I'm going to smell this. Now on Lucky Scent, the only thing that's really different about these two is that this has champagne, peach Bellini type of champagne vibe. Yeah, so on Lucky Scent it says grapefruit, blackcurrant, coconut, pink champagne, jasmine, rose, heliotrope, powder, raspberry, vanilla, amber, and musk, tutu blanc. If it goes, there it goes, all right. Grapefruit, black currant, coconut, apple, jasmine, rose, heliotrope, raspberry, vanilla, amber, and musk. So the only real difference is this has um, the champagne vibe going on. Um, on Fragrantica, I'm looking at what the difference is. Fragrantica says apple, coconut, grapefruit, black currant, the top notes. And 
This has coconut, apple, grapefruit, cassis at the top as a top note. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and smell this. Oh yeah, this is much brighter. I'm glad I got this because I was debating on which one I should get. I think it's that champagne, that that pink champagne. Oh, it's nice. This is very spring, fruity floral. Both of these are spring. It does have that like slight musk to it, but it's not overpowering. I do not really care for heavy, musky, powdery fragrances. They kind of remind me of like a more mature woman in her like 60s to 70s plus, you know, um, at least in the 90s and early 2000s. I know everyone's, you know, olfactory senses have probably changed as, as far as like time goes and what people were attracted to during that era but it's 90s and 2000s the women in my life preferred like a powdery like the one that were like older powdery musky I don't really like opium was a real like the original opium I could not stand that smell and I got on the site and it said it has uh like one of the top notes is like incense I'm like yeah I like incense like if you're burning it in a house or whatever I haven't done it myself since my 20s but I like incense I just don't want to smell like it and the same thing with powder and musk. So when musk is done right, where it's in the background and it's complimentary, I'm cool with it. Powder, same thing. As long as it's like in the background and it's calming, like really bright, you know, ingredients, I'm cool with it. Oh, it smells so good. Shit. Actually, next to this, this is hardly... I can't even really smell this. This is almost like I'm going nose blind to it. Because this one's the tutu uh, pink is so powerful. Yeah, this just has a little bit of a kick, a little more brighter vibe going on to it. This is so spring and summer, definitely. I can definitely get the coconut vibe going on, that apple grapefruit. What a great combo. What's interesting to me is that certain fragrances can have the exact same notes and be completely different smelling because of they, whatever their DNA is. I need to watch a video on how people create perfumes. Mmm. All right. So yeah, if I were going to pick between Tutu Blanc and Tutu, if I were you, if you want the brighter, you know, version, I would definitely go with Tutu, the pink one. If you like something that's a little calmer, not as bright, still spring, still summer, still nice, I would go with Tutu Blanc. If you are unsure, because it's a very expensive brand. How much is this, by the way? Well, Tutu Blanc's only 185. And I say only because their Duchessa, if I'm correct, was over 300. So let me try Tutu. How much is that paper Tutu? I have fallen in the grips of Afterpay and online credit cards. And um, yeah, so this is 245. So this is more expensive than the Tutu Blanc. Uh, I'm assuming it's a little newer, maybe. I'm not sure, but uh, fuck, I love it. I'm definitely glad I purchased this. This is a good purchase for me. So I'm just going to show you the collection. I am thinking about buying because I think it's called because I'm free. Let me look really quick. Because either because I'm free or because you're free. I just got a sample of that the other day because I'm free. It makes more sense. It comes in a clear red bottle. That goes for $250. Uh, because I'm Free is Candied Fruits, Pettigrain, I don't know what that is, Almond Blossom, Jasmine, Tuberose, Blossom, Banana Blossom, Amber, Caramel, and Vanilla. I smelled a sample of that. Um, again, very spring, very uh, floral forward, I would say. But it's interesting that it says that, but then I could have swore on Fragrantica. Let me go to Fragrantica. I could have swore on Fragrantica. What was it? Uh, because I'm Free. Yeah had different notes. Fragranica and um, Lucky Scent, you have to like look at them both because sometimes one has completely different notes than the other and you have to like really kind of like question who got the right information. Um, no, same thing. What was I thinking? Oh yeah, yeah, that's why. That's why. Okay, so this doesn't bring up anything about... Oh yeah, it does. My bad. Don't pay attention to me. Jasmine Tuberous. Right. Uh, the Jasmine and Tuberous and Because I'm Free comes forward uh, if you do not like white florals, you're not going to like it because it's definitely a very white floral forward scent. 
but it's nice. Like normally I'm not like super hardcore floral, but because there's like some sweetness to it and it balances it out, I'm like, this is nice. I think with like a good pairing with something, you know, I mean, you can go either tart or you can go creamy with it, but I think that it would pair very nicely with a variety of different scents that would complement it. So anyway, let me go ahead and show you my greedy collection again. Before I drop them, I'm going to put them down. <laughs> but I've been wanting to show these for a minute now. And I definitely wanted to get this out now because it's spring. And I really think that these two are probably going to be talked about for, you know, a minute. Um, because they, they are good. They're really good. So I am going to be doing some Monday videos and Friday videos, I think. Because there's a lot I want to talk about. And there's a lot of spring, like, scents I want to talk about. And I feel like if I do every Friday, like, I'm going to end up going into fall. And you guys are going to be like, that was so last season. You know, so. Anywho. All right. That's pretty much it. Uh, my headband, in case anyone's curious, got this Amazon. I started to pay attention to um, another fragrance person called AI the Great. So I'm doing a nod to her because she hasn't done it in a minute, but she was wearing headbands. And it got me kind of interested in headbands. So I got on Amazon because if you get, like, on Nordstrom's or something, it's like $100 for a rhinestone headband, but you get on Amazon, it's like 20 bucks. Um, and they're cute, it's cute. So I'm wearing some headbands here and there, but a whole bunch of them off of uh, Amazon, like as mentioned. And again, as mentioned, a nod to AI the Great, just because she is the one that turned me on to headbands. She has these big, like rhinestone earrings that I think she sells. Um, I'm not really, they look heavy. I'm not really into heavy earrings because I don't want to be like 70 years old with my earlobes like hanging down to my shoulders, but I can definitely appreciate them. I think they're very nice looking. I think that uh, um, they definitely complement somebody's face the way they look. Like I do want to buy them, but like I said, they just look heavy. But anyway, anyway, that is it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I'll be making more videos in the near future and I'll see you guys next time.